acting a seat for a tube. If it's a closed loop, uh, closed string, this will describe it. When it propagates, it will describe a tube. This is also a bird seat. When it's like this of any, any curve, it propagates and we have a bird seat. Then we add one more extra dimension to this. It's all broadly called string theory. It will be higher D brains, D2 brain, which is a membrane, D3 brain. So they are called so word line, word seat, and word volume. So these three terms, word line, word seat, and word volume. Okay. So this is for D0 brain for DP brain. Okay. We will come to gradually understand what is this DP thing, but we here nearly get an idea what it is about. So the beauty that you pointed out lies in this time-like trajectory. Here it's borderline, it's time-like trajectory. So this is always positive because ds square is positive here. And when you consider a word seat, we still are on the time-like seats. So we are still on the time-like seat. So in string, entire string theory, even if we consider higher dimensional volume, uh, bird seat, bird volumes, we always continue to have uh, time-like bird seats or bird volumes. So these things would always be positive. Yes, very good for reminding us this thing. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so we can maybe remove this and then we try to see could we establish a equivalence of polyopop approach with the Nambugoto approach? Yes, we could. Let us try to do that. So, uh, <coughs> you have the action as edge integral with tau, one half, inverse x dot square minus m square e and d tau is there and now we want to have the okay we understand we don't want to vary it we want to establish the equivalence of this with it is very easy we have already done most of the thing we have written e inverse here we can write if we like, so let us put everything in terms of f dot square. We also have e, we have e equals to this and e inverse equal to this. We can directly put it here and just simplify and you find that this action, which is a fully above action, this would reduce into that. So it's now very, very trivial. Good. Beta one half. So e inverse is m square y minus x dot square to the power one half it's inverse here so it's one half into f dot square minus m square into e so e is to the power one half and it's done you can just simplify it and let me not even try to select it here. This would be your d tau and 1 by m square. Uh, Matthew, this is a typical German bun. Okay. For your information, this is whether small or big is always one. This is q and this is 7. So I tell it to my students also in Delhi because I have got so much used to this that I, I always use it irrespective of the place where I am <laughs> lecturing. Okay. Because it's very, very convenient and very, it looks to me very scientific. So uh, whenever I am writing, it's typical German bun. Okay. Okay. Very good. So 1 by m square raised to the power minus 1 half and minus f dot square to the, to the power minus one half into minus x dot square into minus one and 
this can be written as d tau n times minus x dot square. If you like, I can already go to square root one half into minus one. So I can write it as minus n d tau. It's a very simple trivial algebra. So this you can already see page uh, minus m d tau minus uh, x dot x dot mu. This is minus m. And this is your uh, so what we have seen with this very trivial simple calculation, we find that if we start with the polyaco action, we just make use of the equation of motion appropriately and we discover that this action reduces to the <coughs> number to type of action. So the two are classically equivalent and that's a that's one good result that we have uh, that we have obtained and uh, let me let me first in this context, this I can remove if you like, and equation of motion I would need again, so I leave it there. <coughs> and let me, because equations of motion are written there, I could maybe uh, talk about the mass cell condition for this particular action. I wanted to talk about it a little bit later, but maybe I can talk about it <coughs> right here because everything is appears to be here. So mass cell maybe one question. Yes. Why is the equation of motion valid on the action level? Why is the equation of motion valid for on the action level? On the action level. Yeah. So when when we are as as an example when we are doing post Newtonian calculations, mm -hmm. uh, the Lagrangian is dependent on the acceleration. And it's not allowed to put the uh, calculated um, acceleration into the action. So it's not valid in this case, but here it is valid. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, here, of course, at least conceptually, I do not see any problem in the action but but these equations of motion follow from the action by the variation yeah of the action and if i need uh, why should i not be able to use them there it's, it's not valid on the action level only on the on the uh, level of your equations uh -huh. i think i need to think about it I, i'm not 100 percent sure mm -hmm. i'm not 100 percent sure so uh, I think I, I would prefer to think about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, a priori, it. I would like to take it seriously and think about it rather than 